Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about compound interest. Hey, and welcome to The Savvy Squaddy. In this video I'll hopefully be opening your mind to the power of compound interest and how it can be both an advantage and disadvantage to you. Firstly though, let's begin with what is interest? Interest is money that is paid regularly at a particular percentage, usually when money has been lent or borrowed. If you take a loan out from a bank, you pay them back what you borrowed as well as extra, which is the interest. Equally though, banks will pay you interest on your savings. This is because you are loaning them your money and they pay you back with interest. They, however, pay you a lot less interest on your savings than what they will charge you if you were to get a loan from them. The difference between these two interest rates is the way they make a profit. For example, Gary puts a thousand pounds in a savings account at an annual rate of 2%. Joe wants a loan from the bank for a thousand pounds. The bank agree and the interest rate is 12%. The bank takes Gary's £1,000 and gives it to Joe. The bank will then pay Gary back his £1,000 plus the £20 gained from his 2% interest. When Joe pays back the bank with the £1,000 he borrowed, he pays back an extra £120 due to his 12% interest. The bank has now made £100 from loaning Gary's money out to Joe, but they only paid Joe £20 for borrowing the money from him in the first place. Think about it, if you have a savings account with a bank as well as a loan with them, they are loaning you money that you have lent them but charging you more for it. But now you know this, hopefully it will help you make more informed decisions when it comes to saving, investing and borrowing. There are two main types of interest, simple interest and compound interest. Compound interest is interest earned on money that was previously earned as interest which leads to greater amounts of interest. That may be a bit confusing, so to help explain this, Let's say you have £1,000 and you put it into a savings account with a 5% annual rate. At the end of the first year you would have gained £50 in interest as 5% of £1,000 is 50. If you were then to leave that for another year you would gain £52.50 as that is 5% of 1050 The third year you would receive £55.13 bringing your total to £1,157.63p. If you left this for 30 years and never deposited or withdrew any money, your total interest gained would be £3,321.94p, bringing your total to £4,321.94p. Simple interest doesn't work this way. Simple interest is where the amount of interest earned is fixed over time. So if we use the same example as before, with a £1,000 deposit, you would consistently only get £50 in interest every year, and at the end of 30 years, your total interest earned would be £1,500, and so your total would be £2,500. Put simply, simple interest works on just the deposited money while compound interest works on both the money you deposit and the interest it gains. Exponential growth is a pattern of data that shows greater increases with passing time, creating a curve like this. Compound interest creates exponential returns. For example, you have two choices, take an upfront payment of £1 million now or take 1p now that doubles every day for 30 days. Many people might take the £1 million due to the instant gratification and the seemingly insignificant amount that 1p is. The fact is, if you took the 1p option, by day 10 you would only have £5.12 and by day 20 you would have just over £5,000. So it just seemed like the £1 million up front is the better option. But by day 30 of doubling that initial 1p, you would have £5,368,709.12p. Now, this is in no way saying that you will double your money every day when you save or invest. That will not happen. This is an example to help demonstrate exponential growth and the power of compounding. When you start, you will not see much growth, but with time and patience you will greatly see the rewards which is why investing long term really pays off. If you are young, then you are in the best position to start investing and to capture the pure power of compounding. Let's bring back Joe and Gary from earlier and I'll introduce Jane. They all started investing £100 a month until they were 65. Joe started when he was 20, Jane started when she was 30 and Gary started when he was 40 and they all saw an average return of 8% per year over that whole period. Gary, who had been investing for 25 years, had deposited £30,000 of his own money and gained nearly £61,000 bringing his total to around £91,000. Jane, who had been investing for 35 years, had deposited £42,000 of her own money and gained just over £172,000 bringing her total to around £214,000. Finally, Joe had been investing for 45 years, so from the day he started work until the day he retired, he had deposited £54,000 of his own money and gained just over £426,000, bringing his total close to half a million pounds. He has over five times more money than Gary whilst only actually depositing £24,000 more than him. In my opinion, everyone should be investing. You do not need a lot of money to get started, and I hope these examples have opened your eyes to the power of compounding and how it can work for you. 
you will not see these types of returns using a savings account in a bank. So hopefully now you understand how compound interest can work with you, but here's how it can work against you. Compound interest is not your friend when it comes to loans and debt. For example, if you have a credit card and don't pay it back in full by the due date, then you will be charged interest. Debt can spiral out of control quickly, especially if you only pay back the minimum amount, as compound interest works against you here. Joe spends £1,000 on his credit card. His annual interest rate is 12%, but as the interest is added on monthly, and if he doesn't pay it back in full, he will get 1% per month added onto his outstanding bill. So, if for whatever reason Joe doesn't pay it for a whole year, the debt he now owes is £1,126.83p. This is because it's compound interest, not simple interest. If it were the latter, then the interest would be £120 for the year. This also doesn't include any fees that might be associated with late payments. Not all loans work this way, so it's important when applying for one you understand the interest rates, late payment fees, etc. So, how does compound interest work with regards to investing? As some of you may know, you don't get paid interest on your stocks as the stock market price is determined by supply and demand. So if people are buying, the price goes up, and if people are selling, the price goes down. And depending at what point you purchase your shares will then determine whether you're in the green or the red. Where the compounding effect happens with investing is when dividends, which are a portion of the profits that a company makes which are then paid to their shareholders, are reinvested, thus buying more shares which in turn would pay more dividends and so the cycle continues. It also happens when you regularly and consistently buy more shares. The more money you invest and the longer it sits, the more it grows. More compound interest accumulates over time and the cycle of purchasing more shares will continue to help your investment grow faster in value. So although you don't get paid compound interest on stocks, the math of compounding still works the same and is still a powerful force which you really want to work with you and not against you. If you want to do the math yourself, here's the formula. But I know it looks a bit complicated, so there's a link in the description to a compound interest calculator so you can see for yourself what type of returns you could get over a long period of investing. I hope this video has helped explain compound interest, its advantages and disadvantages, and how you can really grow your wealth over time to set you up for a better retirement. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. See ya! Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you just saw, please hit the subscribe button up there. And if you want to see some more videos, click over there. See you soon.